analysis of variance technique is to be used on an another scenario this scenario is uh, the scenario of the number of defects in cars different brands of cars are compared and the number of defects in the in that model of car is to be analyzed uh, to investigate whether there is any basis for feeling a large luxury model a or the medium size sedan b and the subcompact type c uh, the number of defects in the production of these three models are to be analyzed with the assumption that uh, with the null hypothesis that the mean defects in all the three types of models are same with the alternate hypothesis that uh, not all the three brands having the average equal number of defects in in their productions this uh, complete scenario is considered and we are going to complete the anova technique um, on this particular scenario number of automobile defects in type a this is our sample data type a we have four cars and then we have six cars the sample size from uh, model a is four sample size from model b is six and the sample size from model c is five uh, is a very small problem but uh, we we want to we want to compare their uh, uh, average number of defects in the three models of car so h not will be what h not will be the mean number of defects uh, in these three types of car are same so h not average number of defects in type a is same as average number of defects in type b of car and average number of defects in type c of car type b and type c this is the null hypothesis with the alternate hypothesis that at least two of the models are not same in the perspective of the number of defects in car so not all means are same or at least two not all means are same this is alternate hypothesis it is obvious that the number of defects between the model is a known source and the number of defects within the model is a unknown source the number of defects within model a which is not obvious because if uh, Uh, we the company is producing a machine and the same machine is producing all of these four cars so why there are the number of different number of defects in that this is known as unknown variation and there is a variation between the model a and b the number of defects in b and c the reason is these are the three different companies and we are analyzing them independently the so there is a possibility that some companies are bad Mm, there is a possibility that the few companies are making the good cars as compared to the other so there this is to be tested in alternate hypothesis assumptions uh, assumption of the homogeneity of variances homogeneity means was you first have to check whether the variances are same or not the so number of uh, variance of defected defects in model a or a standard deviation is same as the standard deviation of b population standard deviation of c the population standard deviation of the three brands of car are same this is the first assumption the second assumption is uh, apply analysis of variance procedure to check whether the average sale for all the five brands of car are same or not this is the h not that means are same or not our primary objective is to check the mean defects in car but uh, we we should have to check whether the variances are same or not because we cannot apply the procedure of uh, anova if the variances are not same 
so there is a possibility that if the variances are not same we can use another procedure named as transformation after transforming the data if the variances are stabilized then we can apply the comparison of mean procedure or the anova procedure for the transformed data instead of the actual data if uh, not check which means are same and which are significant uh, if the hypothesis h not of equal means is true then there is no need to apply any post hoc procedure if the if the hypothesis of uh, equal mean is uh, rejected then we have to apply a procedure which is named as a post hoc procedures um, first assumption after testing the equality of variances uh, the samples are independently selected from the populations and the population from where we have selected the samples should be normally distributed the normality is to be checked before implementing the procedure of anova so the first assumption is whether the variances are same or not so we have to check the variances first uh, then the three defect the cars three models are independently the three companies are independently producing the car the second assumption is fulfilled the third assumption we have to check by implementing either uh, normal probability plot box plot or kolmogorov shapiro test so these are the different procedure that we may use for checking the normality in the data now the totals are calculated these totals are 23 21 36 and grand total is 80 the variances of the each sample is computed the first variance is 1.5 2.3 and 2.7 uh, next column there should be the next row is the standard deviation take the under root of these three numbers you will have the standard deviations we can use levine test for testing the assumption of uh, equality of variance but uh, there is an informal test that i explain in the last presentation or the last video recording that uh, the ratio of the two standard deviations should be taken which two standard deviations out of 3 are to be used the highest standard deviation and the lowest sample standard deviation if the ratio is less than 2 then there is then we we can we can say that the variances are same if the if the variances um, if the ratio is more than or equal to 2 there is a chance that this hypothesis is not true so as in our case the sample variances are these and the sample standard deviation if we take the ratio of the sample standard deviation so obviously it is less than 2 so we can we can take the assumption of uh, equality of variances there are not all the five variances we have only uh, three variances in this situation so we can we can cut these four from uh this this slide because we are comparing only the three standard deviation the variances the variance in brand a variance in brand b variance in brand c the column column variances can be checked by the column stand, ratio of the column standard deviation to so accept the hypothesis and conclude that the variances of the three population are same Uh, no transformation is needed before using the analysis of variance technique now we are going to test the hypothesis of equality of two means uh, the average number of defects in type a average number of defects in type b and so on at least two brands are not same in respect of uh, the number of defects in cars Uh, this is the formula sheet uh, i take this slide from the formula sheet which is already provided to you uh, the partitioning statement is here partitioning statement is saying that the sum of square of total is equal to the sum of square of treatment plus sum of square of error this is known as the variation due to the known source this is known as the variation due to the unknown source so if we add the variation due to the known and unknown source then that it will be equal to the total variation so this identity is known as uh, splitting the total variation into its component 
that is why the name of analyzing the variances or analysis of variance so we are analyzing the variance means we are splitting the total variation of the data into the two components one component is known as variation due to the known source plus variation due to the unknown source the formula for computing the sst is uh, nothing more than the formula numerator of the formula of variance this is nothing just a numerator of the formula of variance so what is x square is x square is the squared observations or the square of all observations given in my sample so in my sample i have about 15 observations so you have you can take this total by just squaring the each observation and take a total of that this is 80 because sum of all observation is 80 and the 80 square should be there divided by n n is the total sample size sum of a square of treatment sstr this can be taken as tj square what is tj tj is the total of column so this is tj this is t1 total of first column total of second column total of third column so what is needed summation tj square upon nj upon nj what so you have to divide 23 square because t1 square divided by the sample size 1 1 2 3 4 observations we have here plus uh, t2 square it is 21 square divided by how many observations i have in this column this is 6 plus uh, the last one is 36 square divided by five observations i have here if i take this total uh, this is referred to as summation tj square divided by nj nj means the number of the sample in the j sample and j varies from 1 to 3 here in this case because i have three brands of car so that is why we have so we have three treatments the so j is representing the number of treatment how many treatments i have so this total will be taken as a um, uh, the calculation of sum of square between automobiles or the between the brands this will be used here this is 23 square upon 4 21 square upon this this is this and minus cf cf is what cf is the correction factor cf can be obtained by grand total ka whole square grand total ka whole square divided by grand total ka whole square divided by cf is equal to grand total whole square gt divided by total number of observations which are n we can represent n by n1 plus n2 plus n3 number of uh, cars produced in my sample from brand a brand b and brand c so here we have the sum of x square the minus cf cf is this this is the second term in the in the numerator so 65 is the sst ssc ssc is what um uh, ssc is basically the sstr in the formula so this is sstr c for the column between the column so in in the in the formula sheet it is represented by sstr sum of a square between treatment or sum of a square between columns because i have samples in column and this is e that can be computed by ss t minus ss tr this calculation is 27.05 so now i have calculated all the sum of squares the sum of square will be divided by their respective degrees of freedom so that we can obtain the variances and variances are here this is the variance between the models 
or we can represent it is by some s square uh, not it is s square at square s square is this basically s square between the samples or we can call it as s square bit treatment this is the variation due to the known variance due to the known so not variation variation the term variation is used for the numerator when the numerator is divided by the degrees of freedom then it is called variance the variance and variation we have a slight difference between these two variance is the obtained by dividing the degrees of freedom to 38.283 divided by 2 we have a 19 point this and this is uh, s square e error sum of s square s square e and this is basically ss e which we have computed earlier ss e this is ss tr which we computed earlier sstr sum of a square between sample sum of a square within sample this is sst total sum of a square we can also represent this ssc by ss tr or we can write down the name here only there is no need to write down ss so you can write down write down here treatment error total so there is no need to write down ss here uh, treatment error total so these are the three sources of variation now f statistics can be computed by dividing known source variance in numerator and unknown source variation in denominator this is computed the 48.49 can be obtained by 19.14 divided by 2.0 this must be fulfilled because known source should be kept in numerator and unknown source should be kept in denominator if you reverse that the formula will be wrong uh this is the calculated critical value obtained from the table 3.19 0.05 degree of freedom 2 and 12 this is the degree of freedom for numerator known as dfn dfn degree of freedom for the numerator because in numerator we have treatments to so three treatment degree of freedom is true this is the degree of freedom of denominator it is called dfd so dfd is what dfd is the denominator n2 this is n2 this is n1 new 2 sorry not n2 this is new 2 this is new 1 new 1 is the degree of freedom 1 new 2 is the degree of freedom 2 the critical value is 3.89 and the observed value is 8.49 to 8.49 is much larger than the crit critical point this is the critical point 8.3.8 and my observed value is 8 point something which falls here to so reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the average number of defects for all the three model is not same what's next we can apply the procedure of post hoc to compare the which brand have a higher number of defect and which brand have a smaller number of defect that procedure i will implement directly by using spss